Yeah, I don't even wear set this goes around my neck anymore. Have you heard like some patients will like take the set this go and choke you out? See, Nurse B don't have time for that. <laughs> So typically what I do is when I'm in the shower, um, I do this in the morning a lot, but when I'm in the shower, I'll go ahead and just wet my hair. If I'm not washing it that day, I'll just wet it. And then I put in a leave-in conditioner on my hair and I use a shower comb just to detangle my hair. And then I dry it off of my turban for a little bit so it's not dripping all over the place. And my hair is still moist though right now, as you can see, still got some Okay, maybe you can't see it. But I still got some water on my hair and I got the conditioner in there. And so I just comb it out of here, I comb out the box. But really I did most of the detangling in the shower. Right now I'm just making it even. That's what the pick is gonna do, help to make it even. While I do my do, well do my makeup I should say. Uh, so, I like to go to work with a soft beat, especially now that my hair is short. Like I wanna look a lot more feminine, so I am using the Fenty Beauty, of course. Like this foundation is like life, y'all yeah, yeah, know. If you haven't had it already, you definitely need to get it. It's so affordable. Now I don't put it directly, let me just check this out. I don't put it directly onto a sponge or a brush. I put it right on my skin. And I know some people are like, no. But that's what I do, especially I like to concentrate under my eyes because I have a lot of dark circles. And it's gonna look like, girl, that is not your color, like you're doing too much. But this really is my color. And as you can see, I do have a blemish. I rarely get blemishes, y'all, but I have not been drinking water as much as I need to throughout this pregnancy. Yes, I am pregnant. You wanna know more about my pregnancy? more of my natural hair while I cut my locks, all that. Go check out my second channel, Stay Forever True. And I'm just using the damp sponge and I wash this every time I use it, like right before I use it. And then on top of that, the reason why I think my skin is breaking out a wee bit is because I need to wash my makeup brushes, like to be honest, and probably just go get some new sponges, even though I clean them every day. Well, I clean my brush, my sponge every day. I like to go up into my eyelid and then under my brow too with any excess uh, foundation just to give it a nice smooth coverage, especially because like dark circles under your, they're not just under your eyes. Like it, a lot of people, it goes like into the eye like lid as well. So that's why I like to cover it up. And the reason why I really do love this foundation is because it doesn't like, um, I don't have to use concealer with it. Now, of course, if you want that like Kim K over the top, like dramatic um, brightening under your eyes, then yeah, use like a concealer that's like eight shades lighter in your skin. But I don't do that, especially not for work, you know? I just like a soft beat. That's what they call it, the young folks call it, a soft beat. As you can see, this foundation, like my skin still looks like skin. It still looks like skin. Like, that's why I like it, even though this damn pimple, yeah. Oh, but anyways, <gasps> let's move on. This is literally just a mascara brush that I clean really good. And I use it as a spoolie for my brows. And guess what, yeah, that's all I do to my brows. I don't do nothing, no filling in, no none of that stuff, because they're thick. And that's all I do. Now I do go get them threaded. So this is my servant, it is wet. Come on. You can see it got a decent amount of water. I'm just gonna let that hang in the background, y'all. Just gotta deal with it. So do like, just like I said, a soft beat. So I want to set under my eyes before we do anything because I really wanna make sure that I don't get a lot of creasing. Oh, but this foundation doesn't crease like at all to me. I really gotta get around my nose. 
because I wear glasses and you know, if you're sweating or doing anything in life and you have on foundation with glasses, you run the risk of like your glasses like smearing everything um, that's on your nose. And that's something I'm working on is working on this nose, honey, when it comes to my glasses, like what the heck? Let me know if y'all have any tips. Okay, so that's what I do. And I just use BH Cosmetics um, Contour and Blush number two. And this is the color that I use for my face. Then, go back, make sure these stay in place. be like why why would you start with that color that's the color I decided to start with then I'm going in with kissy 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 and I'm going above that so that it helps to transition my brown bone brow bone color and like soften up some of that color but for real y'all this Cameroon color that I put on first is like the color of my natural eyelid so I like to use colors that are close to my natural eyelid, but they more so like enhance my natural beauty or my natural skin marks. I don't freaking know y'all. I'm just a chick that do makeup on herself. Like I ain't no guru. I'm just me. Okay, now this lighter shade up here from the BH Cosmetics Contour Kit number two. And then that's when I do my bro. Oh, let me put the lid on this olive oil. We're gonna have some problems. Okay, so I like to come up here and do my brows. And it looks like, oh, girl, why? But it's gonna be okay. So go up here and do my brows. And I like to kind of go into and then go back in with this brush and just smooth it out. But I do feel like it just highlights my brows even more without adding a whole bunch of shimmeriness to it. It just makes it pop more. My eyebrows. Then I use that same color on my lid. And as you can see, I'm not really, I have a small like eyelid, you see? Like I don't have a lot of space to put makeup. Um, so sometimes I have to go like a little bit above my eyelid. If that makes sense, otherwise you won't see it because my eyelid is kind of small. That's that. Um, you can go in and kind of like blend it, but I like that to pop, like my lid to pop. And that's what I do, really. Um, the next thing, is I'm just gonna line my eyelid and when I do my liner, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this on camera, but I'm gonna show y'all something. When I do it, I don't go all the way in because like I said, my eyelid is small, my eyes are small. If I go all the way in, like my entire eyelid is gonna be covered with liner. So I mostly just do the end of my eye, like a flick and then go in just a little bit. So I'll show you all real quick what I do. If I can, I don't know if I can show y'all. I'll do my wing, which that wing is pretty darn long because I, I can't see. But anyways, do my wing, then I come. This is hard to do on camera, y'all. And I come back in. I only do a little bit on my actual lid. Let me check and see how this looks. All right, so I had to clean it up, but that's what I do. I do a wing, like it's not, to me it's not that dramatic. I don't wear lashes to work. Um, honestly, I don't have time to put lashes on before I go to work. A lot of times I don't even have time to put lipstick on. I have to do it like right in the, um, typically I have to put on my lipstick like right 
before I go in, like while I'm in the car or like if I'm at a stop sign <laughs> before I get on the highway to go to work. I'll uh, go ahead and put my lipstick on. But anyways, I don't have time for lashes and I, I'm gonna try the last extensions. I know somebody that does them. I mean, everybody knows somebody that do them. But now, what I like, what I feel like helps to make it like, yes, like work, like um, beat, like that glam look is that I do, I contour just a little bit because for one, I'm pregnant, two, my hair is short and I really want my hair, my face to look a little bit less chunky, if that makes any sense. So I'm not super, super good at contouring, but I just like to mix this darker shade with this more like pinkish reddish shade. I do the dark one first and I go with the red. That's that. Um, that's what I do now. That's what I do. Okay, so then as my finale, I love using, oh, so yeah, this look like, y'all gonna be looking at this like really girl. So I use this, let me clean it off. I can't even clean it off. I have had this for eons. It's a Smashbox um, eyeshadow called Shell that broke like a thousand years ago. And I use that as my highlighter. Now I have to be, like conservative with it because as you can see it picks up a lot of the product so i really have to tap off a whole bunch of this but anyway i do that and i just highlight highlight and that to me is what really like sets off this look for work and i don't do nothing too dramatic with it i just want it to look a little bit of an illumination. I don't want any harsh lines, so I want to kind of smooth it out. Yeah, see it? It's a picking up, and then do the nose. Just a little bit on the nose. Okay. Maybe a little bit more on the nose. Sometimes I go a little too crazy on the nose. So that's what I do. That's all I do. Now, something that I do sometimes is, and I can't find the right Of course, I can't find the right brush, but I'll use this color angelic or any type of like shimmery color, and I'll put it right in the um, inner part of my eye. Because I wear glasses for one, I have smaller eyes, and I work day shifts a lot. And I want my eyes to look awake, look alive, you know, look like they're happy to be there, to be at work. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. Just a little bit. And that's that. The last thing, of course, is a must, is doing the finishing spray, especially because I work like a lot of 12 hour shifts. Today I'm working an evening shift, so it's just an eight hour evening shift. All right, so lastly for my hair, like I said, I already picked it out. It's uh, still kind of damp and I put it just leave-in conditioner. I didn't put any more product. So what I do is I just sponge it, but we'll just sponge it. And then, so once I sponge it, I just go ahead and I brush my sides down. Then I brush the back. Now, of course, you can use like an oil sheen or like a, something to like give it like some sheen to it. I feel like it's okay. Um, but 
I also sometimes I'll put olive oil on my scalp just because sometimes my scalp gets super dry. Um, and I like to finish off my look with some type of studded earring. It's just, once again, just to add that feminine look to it. And then, of course, I only do studs because, yeah, I'm not trying to have nobody pull out anything, like, to yank on my ears or anything. So, just gonna use these. I got these from Michaels. They were $6.99, but I got, like, the, uh, what do you call it, the 40% off. So, that brought it down to, like, $3, I think. Was it $5.99? I think it was $5.99 and brought it down to like $3. So you cannot beat that for like 12 pairs of earrings. So that's what I'm doing. And let me show y'all what I do for my lips. So with me keeping my makeup simple, to a certain degree, it's simple. Um, I didn't show you all mascara, but I'm gonna throw on some mascara, but a more dramatic lip or a more like, mm, okay lip. So sometimes I do like purple. Um, I've done pink at work. I haven't done red, I don't think. But today I'm just doing a neutral color. So, honey, the reason why I put the olive oil on because I ain't trying to be chapped. And one of the main reasons why I don't put on my, my lipstick um, while I'm at home is because I need to put some type of moisture on my lips when I first wake up, let it sink in before I go to work, and then put it on. So, I got to do. Nurse B, really? Yeah, girl, really. Um, of course, it's gonna look scary. Like, what is she doing? I do that first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to go in and blend it a little bit. And then, so the first color I used was the MAC Antique Gold. The second one I'm using is MAC Modesty. She's modest. And then vanilla. And then at this point, you gotta blend, baby, blend. So. That's it. My lip was still a little chap, but you can go over with some gloss if you need to. Maybe a little shimmer gloss or like a lighter gloss. But that's why I like to look. That's how, that's the look I like to give for work. Let me throw on some mascara for y'all. So something I will say that I do is I make sure I do my mascara last because if I do my mascara then spray on the finishing spray, like I'll blink my eye and all my mascara be on my lids. So definitely do my mascara last. So 